This is uh, AJ with gun spread option football. Uh, go over speed option really uh, real quick here. Um, there's not a lot to, to really talk about on that, but I'll just go over it real quick. Uh, we're actually, we'll start here with the Z zone. Man, uh, Y's got here. This is the uh, one and two. You have two and, and guy alone. He goes here. Uh, this guy now, that's a running speed option. We really just want him to get up, steal that backer. He can should be able to easily scoop that. He can punch and go um, if you want him to. Just to make sure he stays there. Um, these guys now get a little bit closer split. Might want to spark but split this one, you know, maybe one foot. Have him reach here. Have him go up and get back there because you know really fast. This backer looks up and back there. W's up there. Again, zone. Man. Run him off. Quarterback just run directly with the line right at that D end. Make him commit. Um, this is this is a, a you know a really quick hitter. And it's really great because it gets these guys right up on those backers. And you know, as long as you just give this guy, maintain this guy, he can't go anywhere, you're going to have a great play. The, the thing is, is if you whiff on this guy, then you're not. You know, if you whiff, obviously, but we're not, you know, we're not talking about whiffs here. We're expecting our guys to do their job, what we ask them. So, um, over controlling all, all three linebackers. If it was to be a... If we're going to run against a three technique... Again, same as same with outside rear. It's not ideal, but you don't have to audible out of it. Come in here, here, here. Fill the holes in with the backers. Fill the back. Yes. Here's the one. Here's the two. Leaving the two alone. This guy's got to get up. Get him. Um. This is what I mean where it's not ideal and you might want to cut your splits down um, because he's going to have a hard time reaching this guy so you might have to punch and go. Um, again, you're going to scoop the back side. Scoop, we call it scooping when we need him to scoop across. Cut that guy off. He's going to have to bust butt, take a great angle to get to there. He's going there. You know, but when we run midline inside, we were really expecting these guys to suck in. And now, once we got them all sucked in and thinking that the play's coming here, that's why we want to get to the outside. Again, the quarterback's going to run right at that D end. Make him decide. Pitch off him. Uh, the key here, and this is, was a killer for us last season, is this tackle smoke that double team and never got off to this back. That can't happen. We really just need, you really just get off the ball and you punch. One, two, punch, punch, give them two shots and get up that linebacker. And by that time, that linebacker should be coming coming downhill here or running out there. So you'll probably already make a decision based on if he's got dive, if he's got uh, quarterback or if he's got pitch. Um, this guy can, if he's a dude, make make it. But I mean, really, you're just crossing his face. So I mean, get a get a smart split there. And this tackle, you know, you do the best you can to get there. You might not. Um, don't block him in the back if you're not there. Um, that's the worst thing you can do. And uh, this guy will never get there, obviously. So, um, so against a three technique, you really got to control this guy. But we really we do have to get up to this guy. This guy can still make the play over the top, but that center's got a tough job getting there. But we can get it done. You know, he's just got a bust butt, so. Um, but that's that, that speed option against a 4-3. Questions or comments, hit me up. Thank you.